Younger people are falling behind as a percentage of net worth relative to the population as a whole in terms of adults. That inherently makes sense though. Older people, 70 plus, have had the advantage of having decades of compounding growth on their net worth. A lot of younger people don't even have a positive net worth because they're just starting out. They got a big mortgage payment, they still got student loans, they got car payments, the whole thing. They don't have any liquid assets or very few. Thus, their net worth is negative or very, very low. Is that shocking to anybody? So inherently, when you have a boom in the stock and real estate markets, the people with the assets benefit from it. On the other hand, when you have a loss in the stock and real estate markets, people who don't have assets, guess what? They lose ground. So the Wall Street Journal can sit there all day long and say, this isn't fair. Well, it won't be fair for older people when the market falls, will it? Well, the Wall Street, and then the Wall Street Journal just report on that. Older people are falling behind. Oh, this dear margarine sucks.